Three common mistakes to avoid when selling your house. That's the topic of my next video. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mark Schreier. I'm a licensed sales associate with Century 21 American Homes Real Estate right here in Long Island, New York. Today's topic is three things you need to avoid when selling your house to help you net the most amount of money in your pocket and sell the house in the quickest time period possible. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the content and definitely leave some comments in the comment section below. The first thing you need to avoid is you need not to become or stay emotionally attached to the property. When you're selling your house, it needs to be a business transaction. And yes, I know you've been living there, some of you, for many, many years, and you have all these life experiences attached to that house. You need to separate that. The buyer doesn't want to know about those emotional experiences. They want to know about how much they can buy the property for. Take it as a compliment if they make an offer on your house that they have an interest in something that you have loved for so many years. So understand that the emotional connection is definitely a negative when it comes to reselling your, reselling your house. Which brings me to number two, that emotional connection can drive your price that you're asking to an artificial number. Understanding also in the days of the internet, everybody can pull up comps very easily on a property and see what the market value should be for that particular house. So if you're asking for twenty-five dollars to $30,000 more than what houses have sold for in your neighborhood, understand your house will sit on the multiple listing service, even in this very competitive seller's market that Long Island is experiencing right now. So get the emotion out of it, price it correctly, which leads me to number three. If you get offers on your house, and if you price it correctly in this market, you're going to be getting offers Sometimes the first offer could be the best. So mishandling the offers, not knowing that an offer is more than just a dollar sign. If you're getting an all cash offer, does that particular person have proof of funds that the cash is actually there? If they are pre-approved, is, is it a current pre-approval? If you got pre-approved and it is current, what happens if the buyer all of a sudden goes out and finances a car? that can lock their, knock their particular pre-approval right out off the table and it's no good. And at the same time, now you've lost a lot of the buyers. So you have to make sure you know how to handle all these offers when they are coming in. So I hope I didn't confuse it too much. Those are three things you need to know. Number one, don't be emotionally involved in the deal. Number two, price your house correctly. And number three, don't mishandle the offers when they come in. If you enjoyed this content, definitely give me a thumbs up. This is Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes Real Estate, and I'll see you on the next video.